Hey, this is Sam Wavertron, and I'm here with the Marvel Universe Series 5 Electro Review. Electro is living lightning. Electricity crackles between his fingers and dances across his eyes. He can generate lightning bolts powerful enough to shatter concrete or detonate gas tanks. For years, his ambition has been to surpass his humble roots and join the ranks of the world's master criminals. Unfortunately for him, his enemy's superior understanding of how electricity actually works continues to stand in his way. When you first take Electro out of the packaging, you might realize that he's a repaint of Series 2 Iron Fist. The only molding differences are the lightning bolts on his arms and the new head sculpt. But either way, if I had to choose one figure out of the two, it'd be Electro. Electro's color scheme is very simple, but it's accurate as well as effective. His main color is this green. Now, it's a darker green than Iron Fist, but it's still a light kind of green. It's kind of like a grass green. And they also managed to put some black paint washes in between the muscles and where shadow should be, which is a great plus for me. His other uh, main color is this yellow, which covers his mask, both hands, his crotch. He also has some lightning bolt details which are also this yellow as well as his feet now uh, this yellow isn't just a plain yellow though it's a very uh, shiny almost metallic yellow very similar to what they used on the series 3 classic Iron Man then the last color he has is at the back of the mask and the back of the head is not entirely black it's a very 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 dark green uh, almost a black and that's very effective too not to go completely jet black and use that dark dark green um, and then lastly on uh, some of the lightning bolt details they had black outlined on it which is a plus but it's kinda sloppy in some places so they could have left it out but I'm very glad that they still put that in there for articulation Electro's head goes up as well as down, rotates 360 degrees around. His arms rotate 360, go out from the body and back in. They rotate 360 at the upper part of the arm, bend forward at the elbow, bend backwards at the elbow, and rotate 360 at the wrist. He has no waist articulation, but he does have upper ab articulation. His upper abs can go forward and back, and rotate all the way around. His legs can go forward, back, out, in. He bends at two points in the knee, and his feet can go up and down. Electro comes with these two translucent yellow lightning bolts, which can clip onto either the top of his wrist or the bottom of his wrist. They can even clip onto his ankles, but to me that'd be a little silly, and it will stretch the clips that allow them to clip on. Now, in my opinion, these are really, really cool, and with his articulation, along with these, you can get him in some pretty, pretty cool poses. The only other accessory that Electro comes with is his top secret envelope. When you open it up, you'll get a card. On the front of the card, it has a very nice picture of Electro in all his glory. And on the other side, you get his Superhuman Registration Act card. It says, real name, Maxwell Max Dillon, code name Electro, hair reddish-brown, eyes blue, height 5'11", weight 165 pounds, sex male, powers can generate electrostatic energy, can override electrically powered devices, and can control them mentally. He can also travel conductive surfaces at speeds of 140 miles per hour, and it says he is an enhanced human. Overall, great toy. Thanks for watching, and this is Soundwavetron signing out.